Nope. All right. Confirmed. Cannot listen to music at the same time. I'm kind of a depresso espresso. See, where's the camera at? It's on that side. On yeah, it is what? It's good to know that. So I could cut that out like a little bit more. I thought it was in the middle. I'm always getting surprised. Performing surgery right now. Let's do the other side too for you know, it's got to match. Okay, hang on. modified like this armband holder thing so I could shoot full front camera of the device aid thing. Pretty cool. I had to cut that out because it was there was none that existed for the camera. That's pretty cool. Squeaky squeaky. All right, well, I guess it's just this. So it's me equipping it. So I gotta put it on tight. Come on. Stay. Right, I've got an idea. Here's my body. Oh yeah, I can spin it out. So it's gonna be like this the whole time. <laughs> Have fun, I guess. Me? Uh, I don't know. I'll try to like think of music to whistle in my head. Six laps. Easy. Okay. It's 12 now, so until we get back, we shower. It'll be about 1. Then we could head out to the uh, my appointment early. Maybe it'll take us early instead of like 2 o'clock. Right now I'm thinking I should put on some sunscreen because it's like high noon. I'm just also like stretching out my feet. I can feel the like radiation beating on me. I have some spray like right inside my door. I'm just gonna hit my like exposed skin.
much. Yeah. All right, I got to get it out of my eyeballs. I can't see when it's in my eyeballs. Hmm. I don't know why I forgot to look. It was watching me do it. And I watched me spray myself right into my eyeball. All right, hold it. It's gonna bother me, but whatever. If we have to stop, we'll stop. Uh, fine. It smells it was delicious. The the banana. It's not banana, but it's copper tone. Yeah, Red Bull would have been nice, actually. Okay. You guys ready? God, I wish there was some music I could play. It's another device. Okay. Um, I'm trying to think if I want to start going the long way. Trust this. Short way, long way. Okay. Thinking. be able to see chat.
I did last week. My legs are still killing me. Oh, we ready? It's like a two or four. them at all. side of that when you're like thinking the worst, you know. Not that you should I try to paint everything in a positive light. Some tailors are making the heels fall out of the ears.
Check information. And hopefully I grabbed the right ID card. I was running right back out. <laughs> I say that because it wouldn't be the first time. I just grabbed the first piece of plastic I could feel. All right, thank you guys very much. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you. Right in. We're running. Uh, nine minutes. And technically, it's uh, an extra minute just to get here to the track. So, it's fine. Space Systems Command. Morning. Or afternoon, rather. Did you make it yeah, yeah. Okay. Whew. Just counting down in my head. All right. Six. Because <laughs> it'd end at four if I didn't have that. Oh, no. Three. It would end at three. Wait, no. Here's a quarter miles. So I'm running three. My brain just turned off. It is six. <laughs> so I'm thinking three is one and a half. Duh. Okay, double that. I was thinking if I didn't have that that milkshake. Oh god. I'd probably knock this down to three, maybe four at best. That's fine. All right, here. And I'm only panting a bit because I'm talking way too much.
already. Boy, yeah, two quarter miles, I can't lie. All I have to do is a Google Map measurement thing. But, uh, oh, sorry, my math is way off. Alright, so technically, we'd run another one and then back. That seems kind of lame. I don't want to do that. How long was it, how long were we at the run for? <laughs> so six. That's this three plus another two. That was about to be the rock on the show. lazy man's equation where you start fi figuring out hard problems in lieu of having to do extra work. And right after that first mile and a half, my brain's like, hang on, you're about to work too much. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean? Like, nah, you gotta recount those, <laughs> you recount that. Hello. Hi. Hi. Okay, let's go. Excuse me. Hey, it's too fast for him. Make sure you don't. There you go. wondering when I was processing it this time. Like, yeah, why am I gonna have to walk half this half the way back at the late instance?
10,000. Good, you're still with me. Thank <sighs> you. 
Left, left. Thirty minutes. Oh, we should have to go back.
Easy. Give me a neck an extra ten. During the first week of August, 1954, at this location, then the abandoned site of St. John's Catholic School, the United States Air Force officially established the headquarters of its Western Development Division. Air Research and Development Command. This event marked the birth of the ballistic missile program, the largest single project ever undertaken in this country, the foundation of American exploration of space, and the triumph of government industry teamwork within the free enterprise system. Brigadier General Bernard A. Schreiber served the first commander of the Western Film Division as staff during the first week of August 1954, consisting of Colonel William A. Shepard, Colonel Jones H. Turner, Junior, Lieutenant Colonel Benjamin B. Weskin, Lieutenant Colonel Barry L. Bowman, Lieutenant Colonel Phil C. Calhoun, Lieutenant Colonel Otto J. Colonel Edward N. Hall, Lieutenant Colonel John Hall. In this recognition of the efforts of these few and the many who later participated in the ballistic missile program, this marker is established by the Air Force Association, dictated July 10, 1964. Remember the forgotten one, Lieutenant Colonel Vincent. For Lieutenant Colonel Newman J. Beaver, Major William B. Arnold, Major Roy J. Ferguson. What about you? But I'm ready to run back and give some blood. Sunscreen we got in her eye earlier. Yeah, she didn't magically go away. That didn't mean it went in more. Minus three.
kernel. Okay. Go.
wait. Took it out of me. Never running another day in my life. Forty five minutes. Minus three, forty two. Yeah, I know that last half mile was really slow. I was fighting. I'm gonna call it the fluffy part of your feet, the bottom. Ow. It's usually the abdomen that goes first, and then that facilitates um, the fatigue. But that usually always also happens around two, two and a quarter. Um, this is a three, three, another half about four, three and three and five eighths. I don't know, I'm not I'm not trying to get too specific with it.
It's the ballpark it. We're taking a wag. Um, I'll measure it out later. Yeah, because we got it on um, uh, the internet. It, uh, it's got amazing tools and calculators that I don't have to try to guess and stuff. But for right now, it's um, four, which is two. Another half and another half. And Does it, did we really run, only run three? I'm embarrassed if that's true. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I did definitely ride more than that. There's no way. So I'm trying to stick my mine a half is 12, 14. So two of those is 24, right? And we're at roughly 45, 48, minus three. So we at least ran double that. At least four. All right. I was saying four. It says it's 10 minute miles, which is sub average, honestly. You're taking 10 minutes to run a mile. I'll say minus five. Like, we were probably reading for three minutes. An extra two, to, like, a minute to walk up to the plaque and then back. Time is it? One? Yeah, we gotta we gotta get back in our button gear. I still have to eat. So might double my meal size. Um because we're giving a blood. I don't I'm not entirely sure about that process, but because I've never given platelets before. And I'm pretty sure that's the it's one that takes like three hours. So hopefully they'll let me bring you guys with me. I mean, we're going to. I'm just probably not going to be as chatty. It's kind of pseudo awkward. Okay. I'm curious what came out. I thought they were like hitting the ball back and forth, like within the baseline. I'm like, what is going on? I kind of wanted to know what game it was. So I'll see if it's with a softball. That'd be kind of cool. change up baseball where they have like a, a home base on like in infield and outfield you start like double down to like hitting balls across everywhere liven up the game of baseball we'll call it bases ball the plural <laughs> and you can make double points if you run on like the opponent the opposite baseline so like the second base would be connected or shortstop would be actually moved like further out to the outfield and that'd be like the connecting bit <laughs> Get wild. Not, I say softball because the ball won't travel as fast. So, like, you hear that ping, like, depending on what direction you're from, you like get to turn and attack it. Street's my home. And then right behind us on the other side, there's that tree line to the base. Well, it's a little bit further than that. There's like a major road there, too. But roughly, I'm going to go this way. Aren't you glad? Watch out. I think I ran off that that shake we had. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. It was like a reward for finishing finally. <laughs> like it, like I kind of would have felt even more guilty had we gotten it like the first week we went to check because the next week I'd have been like, "Oh, we get it again. Oh, we get it again. Oh, we get it again." So. Let's go 
blessing and a curse that it was only available that last week. God, I'm ready to take these earbuds out. Over, I got it. I got excited about getting a driver's license with it on there, so probably gonna keep it. Oh, yeah, my tushy's killing me. I can't wait to not be standing up. <laughs> also, like our point is at 2:30. We should probably leave like way before then. Like I'm not gonna try to take too long to shower or uh, make food. I might food and then eat. Oh, and I kind of want to get my stretch in. I wasn't going to, but I, I think I'll regret not doing it. It's going to be painful. Oh, God. All right. They're just squats. Or they're lunges, rather. Walk lunge. Yeah. Okay. One. One. Two, two, three, three, four, four, five. I, mean, I feel like I'm getting to the point where I could definitely do more than 20, but man, my legs feel like jelly after doing those. They're a bit dangerous because you're picking up all your weight while you're going forward with it because it's a walk lunge with that leg. So, I prefer not to exceed myself because I don't want to blow out my knee. So, the safer way of doing them is forward lunge. You go down and you come back up on your, your sprung leg. Not the one that's already got the weight on it. So you like kick back and up. It's so a walk lunge, you go down and you're picking yourself up off that leg. And then going down on the other leg picking yourself up off that leg that's already forward with all your weight. So, just extremely tired. I like them. Again, not to exude yourself. Like they're one or two. You get like time, time optimization. You get full effect and forward progress. Like obviously if you're in an enclosed room, you know, have the space, you're going to be doing regular uh, reverse or forward lunges. That uh, walking lunges is, uh, yeah. Like good on the beach, beach really good because if you fall over, you start to feel some res major resistance and not to go up, you can fall right over and like safely catch yourself in the sand. All right. and it's getting better. The weather's getting so much nicer. Like we were supposed to go to the workout at the beach last week. So, oops. I have to try to make a point to get out there. Um, I guess this weekend won't work because we got the tough mudder. Um, Friday? I might do a Friday one. There. We'll see. Like an impromptu. Oh, it's first Friday, too commander's call. That might not work. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I need to, like, take five minutes. 
Like typically, I do my stretches right now, but yeah, I still might actually I take it back. I just want to crack my door so I get some fresh air in the house. Whew. Okay, water. Get some water. Water. I could talk about eating a double meal earlier. I don't think that's a good idea. I do them longer, but I'm trying to stand one foot longer than the other right now. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like immediate release and then switch back. One, two, three, four, five. Just making counterclockwise and clockwise circles. Four, five. And again. One, two, three, four, five. You stretch it all around. You'll feel pops and cracks as you get older. It feels good, honestly. I think the ouches and oohs come as like a surprise, like you think something's wrong, but it's your body being excellent and taking care of itself. And I think it's the second you start worrying about it, you uh, you lose it. Oh, what am I doing? This leg? Okay. We're coming down to the ground, but we're taking our time. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. Balance. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Down. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Down right now. God, it's hot. The sun's been cooking it. So, point for about one minute. Starting now. So I'd normally um, do this a lot longer, but we're just going through one set because um, we we're kind of running out of time. Keep it up. 30 more seconds. Oh, I feel it in my shoulders. Oh my god. Oh, it shouldn't be. I should be in, like, in my abs. Keep it up. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, one, two, three, four, five. All right. Oh, oh man, it's in my eyes. Okay. Down to the core. Do a back stretch. Laying flat, feet together. Hands at where the breast is. And just lean. Lean up slowly. I'll lock the arms out something because I'm just trying to feel it in the lower back. Make sure your toes are pointed out behind you. Just slowly look up. Feel anything pinch too much? Slowly go back down with the neck first. And then lower the arms. It's not in the back. Don't move the back. You're going to want to try to spring your back down past your arms. Don't do that. So if you start to feel that pinch, just reverse what you just did. So, arch, then arms, then neck, slowly. Notch, wiggle my head, do a counterclockwise, clockwise rotation. 
no more than one rotation. Back, forth, back, forth, up, down, and then arms, then back. All the front exercises, so she's gonna put herself up on the knees. Let's slowly bring it down and foreheads on the ground. So the hands, when coming up, didn't move, the knees just bent, and we sat into our ankles, but not all the way because we went right down under our forehead. And so we could be appreciative. I have the earth holding us right now. Thank you, earth. I'm going to go ahead and come up. Slowly. I'm going to walk our hands backwards. One, two. I'm just going to push. I'm going to push that earth away. I'm arching her back a little bit. Sometimes if you're, you're not good on your knees and you want to get up, you get to bring one foot up, then the other one. And I guess just, you know, like you're walking around, your hands and legs. If it's too much on your knees, you can sit back down into it. And just pushing, pushing away, pushing away, arch, arching the back a little bit. Uh, and then take it easy. Come and sit back down into it. Balancing on your feet. I gotta get the suntan lotion out of my eyes again. Alright. From here, we're just gonna switch positions. So, catch yourself, one arm behind you, lean onto it, kick that leg out. Center your butt, other leg out, and then adjusting to your center. Alright, feet out in front of you. Lay down. Take a second if you want to. I know I do, I'll take them all. Make sure I switch my blindfold. Because it's not keeping the sweat out of my eyes. Now here, just gonna stretch one leg at a time. Go around, go around, ball, around, ball. The other way. Right, bring it back down. Other one. Two, five. It's doing this thing we just did the opposite way, but you're gonna feel it your lower back like pop out. And it feels amazing. So all I'm gonna do from here, so one leg up, cross it over the other side, doesn't matter which. Just kinda like sitting comfortable. You know. Now you're not using your lower back or your thigh muscles to support that foot. Just a little bit, a little bit of your thigh in your knee. But it's only this leg's holding it all, so you got your like your foot free. I like to just bounce it around here. It's a free like spin it around without the other weight and support. Alright, so while that's there, I'm actually gonna take the other leg and then spin it up. So then this leg's gonna hold that weight. And grab it from in front of you with your left arm, the other one around your butt. So it's gonna push back on your side. It's gonna try to roll back at yourself. Again, I like to try to stretch this muscle here, here, not with this arm. So not put any weight, that's just a catch, this is a guide. The upper hand is a guide only. You're not trying to like pull your leg into your head. Just down here. Stretching out hey, this muscle here, if you have one. I know I don't. It's like a big void, but. <laughs> Rub it down, just let it go, guide it down. Then same thing with the other side. Yeah, this foot, my right foot got destroyed. I don't know why. This is my guide foot, but still, it's getting tore up. Like that little pad that's on your toe. You know what it was? We were like out working the weekend, and it just got tore up from like just lifting stuff all weekend. That's it. Yeah, that's my excuse. All right, no, guide. Grab. Just want to feel it here and it's inside muscle. Right 
down or across. Or your legs are up like this. Hands at the side, right next to your hip, or your buttock. And then you kind of just kind of bring your pelvis up. And then Bob's like lifting your uh, lower back. I'll take that. Just that. Just a little into the small of your back. Nothing crazy. Like if you have to like readjust your legs to like break your back up all the way, don't do that. Just so it's like comfortable. You're just keeping you stable and lifting your pelvis up. Like you should feel it in your abs. Your abs are doing all that work right there. Maybe a little bit of lower back. And uh, just kind of the, the side where you're just stretching out. And that's going to help stretch out that core. Probably my favorite stretch because it's very effective and rewarding. I try not to abuse it. Take it down slowly because you're going to feel it after a while. You're like, oh yeah, now I feel it. <laughs> the, the lazy workout right there. All right. I'm going to give it a second. Um, you don't have to do this, but I take my hands. Like from this position, I tuck them underneath my butt. I kind of like bring it up just like a little bit as we were just doing. Just put them in front of the butt to support the bone that's there. You have to might wiggle your fingers around so it's more comfortable for you. You're going to put your right leg out, your left leg out, and you're going to really feel like your butt like on your hands. You want to slowly like, some people bring their head up a little bit to help balance them out. I know I do, because like, I don't know. Just, I think it helps because it tightens up your core even more. You want to lift your legs up six inches off the ground. And that you're going to feel that in your abs. I'm going to hold it there for anywhere from 10 to 20 seconds. Let's get it back down. Slowly. Alright, I'm going to bring your butt feet back. Hands out. And there's like a series of different exercises you could do from here. Like um, like the bicycle kicks. Like I keep my hands out of this one. I should explain that. Don't you, I wouldn't try to do bicycle kicks with your fingers under you because it's too much wiggling. You're going to grind your fingers into the ground. So take my hands here and I put them either on my chest or I cross them over like I'm doing a sit up. And I think this gives you the most stability. So you bring your knees basically up to your chest like one at a time or both. And you just push yourself up. Just roll, just kind of like rolling. Like you want to put yourself into a ball. Like then you kick your leg out, bring the other one out, and in. So, slowly. So if you get like enough of a stretch, you could actually transition this into just a kick. Again, you bring your head up off the ground a little bit, unless you're fine. I think it like prevents your head from rubbing on the ground too much and getting a ball spot back there, but. You're really just going to feel your knees open up at this point. Your knees and your hips. Your knees are going to open up. Your hips are getting the workout right now. Do anywhere from 10 to 30. If I weren't explaining this, I'd do the 30. It's about 20 right here. Okay. Then I'm just going to bring them back. And then down slowly. Okay. Um, from here. Again, hands up the side, feet out to six inches, you just going to flood it this time. Heads off the ground, like 10 to 20, and then stop, let's just strap them. Alright, that's a good set. You can go into setups from here, uh, more stretches, do the whole thing again, like in the opposite order, picking yourself back up. So your feet up. You need to help support yourself on yourself. But you grab onto your legs here. I like to kind of just like imagine I'm grabbing an invisible bar. So you're up. Then I grab my feet. Close them together. Sit up and rock, rock into my hips. So I'm more on top of my my buttock. My knees are gonna try to go.